already. All right. So as I mentioned today, I'm going to share um, on self motivation. Now, if you guys see at the bottom of my presentation, you see by Dr. Crystal D. Um, B BSc, PhD, MBA, M MSc. Listen, ladies, well, I'm telling you a secret, but I can't tell nobody. Tell me if I tell you a secret. You know, I know the secret. Tell me if I want to know the secret. Yes, the secret is I don't have, I only have a BSc right now. So ask me where the doctor come from and the MBA come from and all of these things. I just put it on the presentation because that's, that's what I want in life, right? So this is the power of just visioning. I envision myself to be Dr. Crystal Day one day. So it not happening yet, but may I speak it into being. Anybody ever hear about speaking it? All right, you want to speak it into being. You deserve it. Yes. Right? Manifestation. Yes. Right? So you want to, this is what I'm doing now. So self-motivation. So this is making me self-motivate. Right? So I want somebody to, to, as you look at the picture, just type in when you see the photo that is on, what do you see? When you tell me the, the picture, I want you to use one word to describe the picture in front of you. One word to describe the picture in front of you. One word to describe the picture in front of you. Determination, persistence, persistence, brave, focus, growth. Yeah. All right, right, brave, challenge. So here's what I'm going to first as first remember we get we are talk everybody have them journal. Everybody have them journal. Somebody said they're not seeing. Why you're not seeing? I'm not sure why you have to check. Um all right, yeah. Everybody have their journal. So I want you, I'm gonna give you 30 seconds. 30 seconds to use one. Adjective, starting with the letter of your name to describe yourself. So what do I mean? I am courageous crystal. I am courageous crystal. So the adjective is courageous and it starts with the letter of my first, the first letter in my name says courageous crystal. So I want you to write that in your journal. So after today, I says intelligent iffy. So that's what you're gonna, after today, for the rest of the summit, that's how you're gonna you're gonna call yourself, jovial Janelle, right? Jovial Jade, attractive Amelia, right? So that's that's your new name, right? That's your new name after today. So it's not Michaela is marvelous, Michaela determined, Danica, awesome. Okay, all right. Let's get into the presentation. I love the names. So what's self-motivation? Self-motivation is a crucial element to getting the most out of life. What gets us up and moving, striving, trying, striving, stumbling, um, moving forward is our determination. Self-motivation improves your confidence, self-esteem, right? So basically what I'm trying to say is the truth is, as I mentioned, some of you might not have had, some of you might not have parents that are supporting you. I don't know your situation. Some of you might be rich right now and you're Bill Gates. Bill Gates are your father. I don't know if Bill Gates are, are anybody's father right now, but you have it, right? You live nice, you're enjoying life. While some of us, some of you might not sometimes have lunch money to go to, 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 to school, right? Some of you might have been um, abused or teased. I remember growing up, they used, I used to have a lot of acne on my face and they used to call me um, gremlin, right? And they used to call me greater face and, 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 and bumpy killer, right? And the truth is, those were, when people call you names, you know, um, it can be very hurtful, right? But with self-motivation, no matter what happened in life, that you can get over it. And some of you are not doing well in school because you are not motivated. And you wonder, okay, why am I going to do this? What, what, what's my purpose in life? Why should I even bother? Understand, ladies, that don't depend on your parents, right? Don't depend on your parents to motivate you. Yes, it's good that you want to do it for, for, to make your parents proud, 
but you want to, you want to get up to a place where I want to make myself proud. I want to make God proud, right? So I want to make God pleased, and I want to also be pleased too. So you need self-motivation. And this is why I started with self-motivation today because everything else that you're going to learn for the rest of the, the, the sessions, ladies, for the rest of the session, it, it don't make sense with each other if you're not motivated. I'm going to tell you the truth. If you're not motivated, everything else, when, when I start teaching about purity, you're not going to be motivated. When, I start, when you start learning about other topics, you're not going to be motivated. You're not going to want to change. So you want to get to a place where I'm doing what I need to do so that I can, for me, for my family, for God. So self-motivation is important in every aspect of your life, be it your career. Of course, many of you don't have career yet. What if someone, what if it is someone like you that is motivating you? Of course. So um, it's, it's, some, it's great to have people motivating you, you know, because my mother was a big motivation for me and everything I want, but I wanted it more also for myself or also I'm going to share, look, as we go through the presentation, you, I'll, you learn more, but in order for you to, um, you know, just excel in any area of your life, you have to find that what motivates you. Now, when you think about motivation, it always starts with what is your dreams? What are your dreams? And I have an acronym here. Dream is dedication, responsibility, education, attitude, motivation, right? What are your dreams? Because without a dream, you cannot achieve anything. Only when you have a dream, you will be determined to follow it and make it real. So you might not have be in the ideal situation right now, right? You might not. You might not have, as I said, you know, many of you, you you might not have your parents' support. You probably don't have family around you. Um, probably feel like nobody believes in you. But the question is, how can someone believe in you if you don't believe in yourself? Let me make you think about that. The person is motivating you, but your parents still don't want you to speak to that person. Um, Amelie, I will... Make a note and, and I will answer that question a little bit later. I'm going to answer the question a little bit later, Amelie, for sure, right? So also, let, me, let, let us stop here too. Because um, when you think about, many of you might have people that are motivating you to do bad things. So that's another thing that you want to think about. So what are your dreams? What are your dreams? What is it that you want to accomplish? What is it you want out of this life? Because let me tell you something, young ladies. I don't know if you're the, the teacher at school or your parents or church, but let me tell you, nothing in this world will be handed to you. You have to go and get it. And even if your parents have all the money in the world and give you certain things, after a while, your parents just don't have that responsibility think about covid right now right now um there is a, a pandemic that is going on in the world that no money in the world like rich your poor your 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 rich your poor no matter what everybody have to stay in yard i'm gonna talk truth right talk truth Right now, all of your fears stay weird, <laughs> right? So I want you to know that you have to have dreams. And let me tell you something. There's no dream that is too big. No dream that is too big. If you're willing to work, here's when a dream becomes big, when, you don't, when you're not willing to do the work. So many of you say, oh, I want to become a doctor, but you are not studying your sciences, you can't become a doctor if you don't do the sciences. It means that I can get a D in chemistry and think I, and still convince myself that I'm going to become a doctor. Or you want to become a lawyer, but you hate history. Most likely, you're not going to get in law school, right? Many of you, you like, you, you, no, listen, here's what I want you to teach yourself. You want you to be real. It's after the six weeks, 
you're not gonna start real, you're not gonna be real to yourself. I'm I, all the time, all the time. I, I meet young ladies and they have all the biggest dreams in the world. And when you ask them, okay, right, you say, you say to them, um, you know, I want, they, they want to become nurse. And then I say to them, okay, so, you know, they're in fifth form. Okay, what subjects are you doing? You're doing accounts, you're doing um, TD, you're doing foods. So I said, okay, so which nursing school you want to go? I don't know, miss. But you're in fifth form. If you don't know in fifth form, then when you're going to know and you want to become a nurse, be real with yourself. I have something what, what I, that I call heart check and self check. Somebody hashtag, right? Hashtag self check in the chat. Hashtag self check. Yeah. So guess what? Every day, no, I want to not always have these self check. So like me, me I get fat. I may do, more I lose the weight, but I don't want to exercise. So me have to do a self check. Me I go continue to get fat. That is a self check. I'm gonna talk to you. When you want to eat ice cream and popcorn and pizza, yeah, self check. Some of you are Christians. Um, you are Christians, and you tell yourself, say, oh, you know, every year you say me I go pray more. But yes, still a be a porn, yeah, listen. Ouch. Ouch. Be a porn. When I'm on the phone, be a porn site to so not watch. Ouch. Self-check. Some of you, I'm not drip my body, Christina. Stop saying that. When I reach, when I reach, drip up yet. Come on. But we are, we are doing self-check. Self-check. Some of you, 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 some, the, the amount of problem on the parents, and uh, every time when I say to the parents, um, you know, sorry, sorry, mega change, mega change. Oh, no, 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 change. Self check. Self check. That, that guy, that little, that guy we sell, him like you, him there with, him there with, him, him there with two or three, him there with two or three of friends him already. And he might tell us him like you. Why you think you can change him? Self-check. Self-check. So I'm going to feast it. I'm going to feast it. Feast it to the teacher. Feast it to everybody. But let me tell you, manners, the manners do take you through the world. So self-check. All right. <laughs> I love you too, <laughs> Tana. All right, so let, let's continue. So the next part is stop complaining. So the Bible, I'm um, in Jer Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to pr prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. You have to self-motivate. You have to become self-motivated and um, focus. Strengthen your interest and desire to succeed. Stop complaining about the lack of resources are unsuitable. Yeah, let me tell you something. At one point in my life, I grung my sleep on. Grung, because we don't have enough bed, and I did enough away, I went to sleep on the ground. Yeah, enough days ago, lunch, school without lunch money. Many times, my, brother used to, my brothers used to have to walk from Fugar School far. Right? Well, you can, if you complain, no, no, it not change. You just have to become determined. Determined so you can accomplish your goals. Understand that life, no matter no matter what, life is going to life is going to 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 to, to throw you some hardball sometime, right? Sometimes life is going to throw you some hardballs, but you can't you can't complain so much. So I have another assignment that I'm going to send you guys, but it's not for this week; it's for next week. Call a gratitude journal, but I'll share that about the gratitude journal, right? Complain never get you nowhere. So even if you complain, because sometimes some of you complain, you know. But you see, when you complain, just find, if you complain one time, find five things to give yourself, to give thanks for. So you want to complain, oh my God, COVID happened, I can't get forgot school, so I can't go see the little boyfriend women are supposed to see in the first place. Because my force me for have sex. Right? 
Instead of that, give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Yes, give thanks. Give thanks so you get to stay home and study some more. Give thanks so you're, you're able to, you know, use social media and, and use platforms like Zoom to still connect. Give thanks. So you can still have something to eat. Give thanks. You can spend more time with the Lord. Give thanks. Yes. Wait, wait, what the song name? Gratitude is a must. Blessings fall upon my right hand. It now go fall upon your right hand if you complain. Because sometimes the blessing is right in front of you, but because you are complaining, you see it. Toast. Yes. Um, I think another song go, don't judge me because I'm a Christian. I'm know the song, but I know the song. Um, where, where popcorn, somebody tell me a popcorn song go. Oh, no, no, son, I know it. Oh, it go again. I don't remember. Um, uh, 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 blessings are flow where the prayer gone up. Yes, yes, blessings are flow. Some of the, the blessings now go flow because I don't complain too much. Self check. Mm hmm So all popcorn that is a non-Christian, right? No, say so when him pray, the prayer gone up. He might get little blessings. All popcorn, no. Mm hmm So some of you know, you know, like your parents, you know, like your brother and sister, where I know, you know. You know, like, you know, like, I mean, I mean, like, I mean, I mean, like a teacher there. I mean, I like, and here, here's a trick, here's a trick. Which something we trick on all the time. When the things so when you get older, it will go better. Listen, that's a lie. Yes, when I get older, it now go get better. Mm hmm. May I tell you the truth, right? I make a run through. All right. So the next thing is that we want to develop what we call persistence. Never give up, right? Never give up on the dreams that you have. Never give up. Never quit. If you, allow, if you follow the right plan and procedure, you are sure to succeed. But there are many times things will go wrong. However, you must lo never lose hope. Keep on trying and find out what is wrong, but don't quit, right? So um, I always hear quitters never, a winner never quit, a quitter never win, right? Winner never quit, a quitter never win, right? So if, if you quit, you can win. Think about... Think about my, my, anybody know Shelly and Fraser is my bestie, right? I tell, this is another secret. I'm telling her, Shelly, I'm a bestie. She's not know, but me and her are best friend, right? On the on the don't tell her, but me, me, yeah, right? So Shelly and Fraser are my best friend. But think about it. If Shelly did give up, would she still be Shelly and Fraser now? She don't know she's not her bestie, you know, but on the don't, tell, don't tell her, right? Yeah, right? So... Think about you saying both the first time you saying went to Olympics, you say never qualify. And Jamaica laugh at him. But look at him sing when Nesbet say, look at me now. Right? Bec why? Because he never gave up. Right? The next part is to be positive. And we talk about um, you know, just your attitude is your biggest asset. Positive thinking is extremely important as your thoughts and attitude influence your plans and your, your action. Don't let negative thoughts or people influence you. Don't get frustrated or depressed. And sometimes we get depressed, you know, and sometimes we get frustrated, but don't drown yourself in it. Believe me, you, many of you are threatening, oh, I'm going to kill myself. Believe me, when you kill yourself, it now go, it now go solve any problem, right? Because your soul don't die. If, if nobody never tell you, your soul never dies. So you just, when you kill yourself, you're going to just torment it still. Right? So you have to be positive. And for those of us who are Christians, we know that we do godly affirmation. What does the Bible say about me? What does the Bible say about me? Yeah, even Jesus, Kira, 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 Kira Pebbles, look like she, she was an evangelist, man. Kira, even Jesus never quit, even when he was on the cross, right? Hey, somebody I preach why kill what God has put in his time. Yes. All right. So we talk about negative labels, right? So this is another assignment that I want you to do. You don't have to put it in the chat. But on your journal, you know, 
So on this one, we have to get rid of, of negative labels, right? So we have worthless, ugly, freak, pathetic, pain, useless, loser, pig. I mean, as I said, I was called them call me bumpy killer and gremlin and greater face and um, you know, not, you're not good enough. And some of you, some of your appearance have said these things about you. Some of you are other classmates. Some of you, so many people are saying things about you. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to get a piece of paper right now. Tear out a piece of paper in your journal. And I'm going to give you a minute to write down all the negative things that anybody has said about you. You don't have to put it in the chat, right? I want you to, 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 to put it on a piece of paper some things, some negative things that people have said about you because we are released the labels today, right? And at the end of today, when we finish, I want you to go and burn it because today we are get rid of the negative labels. So what we think we are, I'm trying to wrap up, right? Your thoughts determine your beliefs. So what we think determine what we believe. What we believe determine how we feel. The way we feel influence how we will act. So you can't, you can't live a positive life with a negative mind. Somebody, I want, it's when after today, I want somebody to make a post on Instagram, right? I want you to post on Instagram, take a picture, and I want you to introduce yourself on Instagram. The new, so this is the new you, right? You take a nice, nice photo, and then you introduce yourself. For example, I am Courageous Crystal, right? And, I'm, and I want you to say I'm a part of the, the, the Empowering Teen Girls Summit, right? And, I'm re, I, and I, I, I cannot, I won't, I know, I can't. So anything, any takeaway, any takeaway you have from today? Okay, parents, what? Let's burn the paper. All right, Tre tear it up very small, right? <laughs> so tear up the paper very small. Um, say so I'm breaking up a bit. I'm not quite sure, but I almost finished, right? So anything you take away from today, and I want you to hashtag. Trying to write this, I want you to hashtag. Um, live in a royal reality. Hashtag Team Global Summit, right? So I want you to, if for those of you that are on Instagram. Right, so we need an Instagram challenge for this week too. So make a post. I'm courageous, Crystal, and share one takeaway from today, right? And um, one takeaway from today, and then use a hashtag living a royal reality team global summit, right? So we can start following each other. So I'm almost finished. I want to give you some examples of some persons, right? Um, Joyce Myers, she was sexually, mentally, emotionally, and verbally abused by her father from as far as she from she was a child, right? And look at who Joyce Myers is right now. At age nine, Oprah Winfrey was raped. Look at where Oprah Winfrey is right now. Tony Blair, he was a prime minister of England. His teachers used to call him a failure. And look, he became the prime minister. Bill Gates said, if you born poor, it's not, it's not your mistake. But if you die poor, it's your mistake. So, I don't, so he didn't even finish um, university, right? Some of you might need to screenshot this. To, to, to get to be motivated. Um, Nelson Mandela, right? He was a former president of South Africa. He spent 27 years in prison. Can you imagine spent 20 year, 27 years in a prison? When they come out, right? Many of you would say, oh my God, after 27 years, my life done, right? No. Um, Lionel Messi, because I love football, I have to use this example. Lionel Messi used to, he used to um, serve tea, to support his football training and my, like, right now, Lionel Messi became one of the number, the top footballers in the world. Megan Good says throughout her life, her teacher, she always tell them so she want to become an actress and the teacher them say, listen, focus on your plan B because you're not, you, you're not, that will never happen to you, for you. Steve Jobs said, I used to sleep on the floor in my friend's room, sell buckle. Some of them might know about sell buckle life. So I'm only saying, can I look at who Steve Jobs is right now. So, as we close, you know, um, prayer, anything is possible, the power of prayer. If you're feeling down, take time to meditate or pray about what's bothering you. Prayer is a great motivational tool because prayer will help you to know what God has in store for you. It builds your faith, right? And the last thing, deter um, motivation. So I just going to sum it up. Um, motivation, determine your goals and your dreams. Maintain a positive attitude, right? Upgrade your skill set. So that means that you always have to be reading and studying. Don't just spend the whole time on Instagram scrolling and looking at, you know, people are wind up themselves and no, right? You want to upgrade. Be passionate, right? Practice self-talk, affirmation, confront your fears, pray, right? Acknowledge and reward your success. So remember, motivation comes from within.
though we pass through many difficulties in life, we should not give up because life is not about what you couldn't do so far. It's still about what you can, so don't give up. All right, so I'm going to stop my presentation and I'm going to give you five, uh, two minutes, two minutes to kind of soak in what we said, what we spoke about, two minutes to, to soak in what we spoke about. And then um, Auntie Akis, Akis, Akisi, Auntie Akisi, she will start. So let me find Auntie Akisi. Hold on. All right, so I'm looking for Auntie Akisi. All righty, hold on, let me unmute. So rem ladies, remind me of the assignments. Remind each other, type in the chat and remind me of the assignments. I think you got both three assignments. Akise, if you can hear me, say something. Can you hear me? Uh, I can hear you now. Ladies, let me awesome. know if you can, you can hear Auntie. Hi, ladies. You are all so beautiful. I know, right? <laughs> yes. All right. So, um, all right, ladies. So what we're going to do, I'm going to give you uh, two minutes just to kind of stretch, just stretch, 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 stretch. I know when another school not for sit down longer, but just two minutes so you can stretch. And then Auntie Akisi is going to start her presentation. So remember, I spoke about motivation. So we're going to get into goal setting. How do you set goals? How do you accomplish those dreams? So Auntie's going to talk to you about that. Now, Auntie Akisi, she is an international speaker. So, you know, I'm so blessed to have her today because she travels all over the world, spoken in South Africa and, 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 and Paris right um and she also has a mentorship program in which 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 state is it um a, a key say? yes it's in arkansas arkansas Little right, right. Mm -hmm. yeah. um so she has a mentorship program she is a coach so she coach persons um teens also so she like somebody say remind somebody say remind me of my assignments i also send ass assignments in um in the in your emails too, but somebody remind um, Krista, Krista of the assignments. So Auntie is going to begin. So I'll mute myself. Um, I mute myself, and then um, Auntie, you can go ahead and get started. All right. How are you all doing today? Meet me in the chat room. I want to know from you all how many of you are familiar with the city girls how many of you all know who the city girls are and you know the song act up if you know the song act up say i know the song in the chat well i don't know the song <laughs> <laughs> okay y'all know the song okay okay so tell me in the chat if you all like the song. Yes, okay, some people like it, some people don't, it's okay. So y'all are familiar with it. Well, let me tell you something about me. I love, 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 love music. How many of y'all love music? Love singing, love dancing. One thing about me, I can do anything to music. I can clean up to music. I can get dressed to music. When I first wake up, one of the first things I do is grab my phone and turn on my music, right? So because sometimes setting goals can be difficult, it can be challenging, it can be boring. What I did was I decided to take the City Girls Act Up Challenge and I remixed it. So I'm gonna rap it for y'all if y'all want me to. So if you want me to rap this song for you all, I want you to write in the chat, rap the song, and I rap the song for you all. If I get five people, 
Okay, oh wow, okay. Here we go, y'all ready? Now, this is the catch. I need y'all to really listen to the words, okay? I want you to listen to every word that I say in this song because it's totally different from the City Girls. All right, y'all ready? And y'all can join in when you know a part that, um, cause some of the parts are the same. So here we go. Let me know, can y'all hear this? Can you hear it? Okay, good. Real ambitious girl, working hard, touch my future. Big goal to make more than five or six figures. ACT on my mind, and I listen to my teachers. Inviting more girls to take the challenge with us. I'm an ambitious girl, and I love taking pictures. I don't do drugs, and I don't drink liquor. Make my parents proud, working towards my future. If I struggle, I get help, I'm an improver. I ain't got time to sleep on my goals. Talking all night, scrolling on my phone. A great ACT would get me in that school. I'm determined to succeed because ambitious girls do. Hey! So, <laughs> I like to start out with something fun. And for me, like I say, music is fun. So if you notice, that act up challenge was totally different. So this is what I have for you all today. We gonna redo the act up challenge. And for you all, the act up challenge stands for A, ambition, C, confidence, and T, transformation. And that's what we're gonna go on today, okay? So I know we've all set goals before, right? Some of us set goals at the beginning of the year. Some of us set goals at our birthday. Some of us set goals when we start a new school year. So what are some of the goals that y'all set or that you know other people set? Meet me in the chat. Tell me some goals that you all have set or some of your friends set or your parents or family members. Learn new languages. Okay, that's a great one. To become a counselor, to go to UBC, robotic engineering, take care of yourself, do better academically, get straight A's, travel. Yes, these are all goals that we set. Now, we also have goals that are set for us. So for you all, what are some goals that your parents or your teachers might set for you? to become a successful entrepreneur, okay, get good grades, to succeed, yes, do well in school, pass exams, get a scholarship, I love it, absolutely, yes. So if you notice, we all have some of the same goals. A lot of the goals that I see are to make good grades, to be successful, um, to travel. I saw those at least 10 times and I love it because those are all things that you can definitely succeed in. Now I want you to take a look at this shirt. And it says, she or she was created, was made for such a time as this. She is you, all of you. She is me. So that means that all of you were created for a time just like this. And I know that COVID-19 has shifted and changed a great deal of your lifestyle. Being quarantined was something new. But one thing that you can definitely do is you can take this whole experience and you can develop a whole game plan that will be changing for not only your life, but for everybody around you. If you take a couple of minutes after um, you finish the conference today, you just think about, how has my life been different from this quarantine? What are some things that I now know that I didn't know before? What are some things that I now realize that I'm so grateful for that I probably took for granted before? What are some things that I am so interested in learning or doing when COVID-19 is over and I can go back outside or I can go back and fellowship with other people like I used to? So um, what I want to go over first is I know I said that we have ACT UP, right? Ambition, confidence, and transformation. But first we have to go over what it means to be ambitious. What is ambition? That is a desire to achieve a certain goal, a desire to achieve a certain goal, which means whatever it is you want to do, you have a love for that. It's important to you. It's a reason why you want to make it happen, right? So all of these goals that y'all listed are very important to you. And you're not the only one that has goals, which is a good thing, because that means that you have friends and family members and classmates and others that you can connect with who have the same goals and y'all can achieve them together. So I will be uh, sending Miss Crystal something for you all later. And if you're interested, I'll type my email in and you can get it from me as well. Um, so 
When we talk about goals, the first step is going to be to learn the difference between a long-term goal and a short-term goal. Have y'all ever heard of those before? Yes, okay. So for those of you that haven't and you don't know what they are, it's a difference. So a long-term goal is a goal that you'll set that might take you, that will take you at least a year. So for instance, for some of you that want to be um, college graduates, it's going to take you more than a year, right? You have to first finish uh, high school, and then when you finish high school, you have to do at least two, maybe four years to get your college degree. So that's a long-term goal. Some of you all even listed the careers that you want to have, engineering, robotics, um, educators. Those are all amazing. Those are long-term goals. Then you have your short-term goal, such as getting good grades. That's something that you can do in less than a year. So now that we know the difference between a long-term goal and a short-term goal, now we have to tap into our confidence, which is C. And that confidence is so important when setting your goals, because if you don't have the confidence to work towards that goal, then it's gonna take you longer to achieve that goal. And procrastination comes in. What is procrastination? Procrastination is when we say we wanna do something, but we say it on Monday, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday passes by, and we haven't done anything to work towards that goal. So the next Monday comes around, and we say, oh man, I said I wanted to um, start my diet, or I said I wanted to start advertising my um, materials on Instagram that I make, or the earrings that I want to sell, and you don't set up the Instagram page. So then you might see other people that are selling earrings, or you might see other people that are selling jewelry, you might see other people that are offering tutoring services, which is something that you wanted to do. And then you get discouraged because you feel like, well, they already have their stuff together and I haven't started yet. So then you sit back and you let another week pass you by and that's procrastinating. And let me tell you something, God created you for a purpose. So this shirt, she was made for such a time as this, actually stems from an amazing woman in the Bible named Esther. And she was a queen and she was created for such a time as this, where she was able to bless all of her people by protecting them. And we're gonna get into that later, but the number one thing that you have to make sure that you do is you have to make sure that you have that faith and believe in yourself to do something and that's your confidence. And that's what I like to call ambitious girl magic which is being motivated and growing in confidence every single day. So if you believe in yourself to achieve a goal, the first thing you're gonna do is make a list of all the things you wanna do. I mean, everything that you have a desire to do, you wanna make a list of those things. Then you wanna go through that list and you wanna pick the number one goal that's most important to you. And when you pick that number one goal, that's called your prioritized goal. So that's the most important goal. That's the one you're going to work on first. That's the one that's at the top of your list. So then what you're going to do is you're going to decide why is this goal important to me? And you're going to write that down. Then you're going to decide how will this goal make me feel once I accomplish it? How will I feel good about myself when I accomplish this goal? How would this make me smile? How would this um, increase my ability to go ahead and achieve another goal? What would this goal do for me? Then you wanna ask yourself, um, what do I need to do to make this goal happen? And I'm gonna tell y'all, writing your goals down is important. But after you prioritize and get that number one goal, journaling your journey is just as important. So start you a goal journey journal and this journal will be just for your goals and i'm going to tell you why when you begin to work on your goal if you write about it every day you're going to be writing about what you're doing to work towards your goal you're going to be writing about the good things that you find out or the good things that you experience along your journey with this goal and after you meet this goal guess what six months down the line a year down the line Something that's very motivating to do is to read over your journey with that first goal from beginning to end, because then you're gonna be motivated to work towards your second goal. There's nothing like being able to look back on your journey and saying, you know what? 
I didn't think I could do that. I did it. I had doubted myself, but I did it. Talk about how other people were proud of you. Talk about how other people helped you. Because sometimes there are things that we just cannot do by ourselves. So with you all having some of the same goals, I want you all, when you have a chance to go through this chat and look at some of the girls who have the same goals that you did, send them a message and say, hey, sis, I want to connect with you. Y'all are not all on here for the sole purpose of listening to us, but you're on here to connect with one another too. No matter where you are, online is just a click away. So even if your sister doesn't live where you live at, guess what? Y'all can do video chat too and work on your goals. So get you a goal sister or a goal friend and y'all act up together. Now remember, I'm not talking about the city girls act up. I'm talking about the ambitious girl act up, which is being ambitious, confident, towards your transformation. So now that um, we're starting our journal and we're keeping our journal, it's time to really create that action plan that's gonna really allow us to achieve this goal. Because it's, it's great to say you have a goal, right? It's great to write the goal down, but you have to have an action plan. So that action plan is gonna consist of, number one, writing down what you value. And some of you might say, well, I like a lot of things, but I'm not sure how to even start writing my goals down. I don't even know what to set as my goal. So what you can start doing is saying what's important to you. And I'm just going to choose getting good grades because a lot of you had that and it's amazing. So if you value getting good grades, I'm pretty sure that you can find a teacher that's going to value you getting good grades in their classroom. I guarantee you that you can find a family member that's going to value you getting good grades because you're going to school and your number one priority in school is to learn. And if you're getting good grades, guess what? You're learning what you're supposed to learn. So once you get your value, you set your goal and you say, my goal is to get an A on my next test. That's your goal. Because getting good grades is important to you. So then after you set that goal, guess what? You have to set a boundary. You have to set a boundary. In a perfect world, we will be able to write our goals down and they will be so easy to achieve. But there are challenges, there are changes. Look at what's happened with you all being quarantined. How many of you all knew that you were gonna be quarantined two months before you were quarantined? Meet me in the chat. If the quarantine was a surprise for you, say surprise. You didn't know, right? So there was no way. Some of you have been going to school online. Some of you have been going to school to get or had assignments mailed to you where you had to complete them on your own. Some of y'all haven't had access to your teachers to teach you some of these things, which meant that you had to teach yourself by reading the assignments, by researching and getting help with them. That's a lot, right? So if your goal was getting good grades, it was achievable for you to sit in the classroom and listen to your teacher and learn and get the good grades. But now with the quarantine, things change. So that's where boundaries come in. And boundaries are so important because we never know what's gonna happen. We never know what life-changing event, big or small, might be a challenge in us meeting our goals. So a boundary, Tell me if you know what a boundary is. Just say, I know, if you know in the chat. Okay. Okay, so y'all didn't respond as quick as you did with the other one, so I'm gonna explain what a boundary is. A boundary is a line that makes a limit. Think of now with social distancing, we're supposed to stay six feet away from each other. So in some of the stores they have, when you check out, they have six, blocks and they tell you stand right here so if you were in the store and you're getting ready to check out and you're standing one feet directly in front of somebody you're out of your boundary you're in their personal space that's a boundary or sometimes in basketball you have a ball that is thrown over a certain line and it's out of boundaries right because it's supposed to stay within a certain per place on the court so a boundary is where you cross a limit that you set. So your boundary, remember 
our um, value is getting good grades. Our goal is studying or getting an A on the next test. So our boundary is going to be, I will study every day for 20 minutes for this test so that I can make an A. Now that 20 minutes doesn't mean during your school time. That means at home during your personal time. So instead of scrolling on Instagram or getting on Facebook first or talking to your friends, you're going to study for at least 20 minutes every day. Even if your girlfriend, your, your, your friend girl, your sister calls you and says, girl, look on Instagram and see this person's live video. You're going to say, I have to do this after because my time from 5 to 5.30 or from 6 to 6.30 is dedicated to studying every day so that I can make an A. And I'm going to tell you why that's so important. Because if you decide to get on live, more than likely, you're not going to get on live and get back off. You're going to be on there. It's going to be entertaining. You're going to read the comments. Then after the live, you might talk to your friends about the live. And before you know it, you're used to making, to not sticking to your boundary. And so the next day, your friend's going to call you and say, hey, let's, let's um, go out to eat or come over to my house. And you're going to say, mm, one time won't hurt. But then it's two times that you've broken your set goal of getting that A on that test. So then you have to ask yourself, I know why this goal is important to me. I know why I'm setting this goal. I know what I need to do to meet this goal. I've set my boundary. But what about after I meet the goal? What about after I do get the A on the test? Then what? You've achieved that goal. So then you have to have a reward but you set the reward before because that reward is gonna motivate you. So tell me in the chat some of the things that you all like to do. What are some good rewards for you? Reading, okay. I love to read too. Dancing, bake, painting, okay, love it, yes. Somebody else said a good book. Dancing, singing, eating cheesecake, reading, doing my craft, speaking French. Yes, yes, painting again. So I have saw painting three times. We're going to use painting, okay? So you can say a good reward for me after I make an A on this test is I'm going to paint a picture of me celebrating my A on this test. And you're going to hang that painting up in your room because it's going to be a reminder of how important your grades are to you. It's gonna be a reminder of setting that goal to make A on that test. It's gonna be a reminder of how you overcame those boundaries. It's gonna be a reminder of when you made that A, so now you're gonna be motivated to keep making A's, to keep studying towards those A's. Now let's backtrack. Let's say that you studied, you made your boundaries, you stuck to your boundaries, but you made a B or you made a C, maybe even made a D or you made an F on the test. That can be very discouraging. You don't feel too good about that. You might feel like I messed up, I failed, I'm not good enough to make an A, I'm stupid, I'm dumb. That's not true. That's not true at all. What that means is maybe instead of studying for 20 or 30 minutes a day, you need to study for 45 minutes a day. Maybe it means that there was something you didn't really understand and you can get with your teacher or a tutor to get help in that area. Or maybe you can form a study group with your friends so that y'all can go over things together. And whatever this friend is good at, she can help you where you're not good at. And wherever you're good at, you can help her where she's not good at. Or you can reach out to your sister that you're connected to now and say, hey, sis, I made this grade on this test and this is where I messed up at. And I want to know if you can help me with that. And guess what? You keep on working towards that goal of getting your good grades. You keep those boundaries. And eventually, you're going to continue growing. That F is going to be an A one day. That D is going to be an A one day. That C is going to be an A one day. That B is going to be an A one day. And guess what? The reality is, it may never be an A. But if you did all that you could do, you did your best, you stuck to your goal, you stuck to your boundaries, you did your best. So that is still an A because you've achieved what you set out to achieve. You didn't get the results that you wanted, 
but you achieved it by sticking to your goal plan. So you don't give up after that. You just say, I gave my all, and this is just an area that I may not make an A on the test on, but you still study those same habits with your other classes to put forth that same energy. Because just because you don't get an A on one test or an A in one class doesn't mean you can't get an A on other tests in other classes. So that was just an example of how to set a goal and how to achieve it. Now, I want y'all to understand that there are many different areas of our lives that we can set goals. Um, there are many different ways that we can achieve those goals. While some goals you're gonna work on by yourself, there are definitely some goals that you're gonna have to work with others on. So I think a good goal for everybody on here that said today will be a goal of connecting with one other person and keeping in contact with them all month, the entire time that y'all are doing this conference. And you know what? Y'all can talk about what your goal is, your number one goal is. And every week, y'all can talk with one another. And then you can tell her, okay, sis, we logging back on next week for Miss Crystal's conference. And this is what we're gonna take away from it. And then after that night of the conference, you talk again. And you talk about what you learned. You talk about how you can incorporate what you learned into your goal plan. That's ambitious girl magic. Ambitious girl magic is not just keeping it for yourself, it's sharing, spreading, and sprinkling it with any and everybody that you come across. So remember, when you think about acting up, you're gonna think about acting up in, the, in a good way. And that's what your ambition, your confidence, towards your transformation because you're growing and you're glowing every single day. And I wanna leave you all with the scripture it's Jeremiah 17, 7, and it's one of my favorites. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. When we have confidence in ourselves, sometimes we might not feel the best. We might not have the best motivation. And so we don't really believe in ourselves to do things. But when our confidence comes from Christ, we will have the strength and the motivation and all the tools that we need to make things happen especially when our goals are in line with what God wants us to do. So it's one thing to have goals, but it's another thing to have godly goals. And I want y'all to always remember, no matter how ambitious you are, no matter how confident you are, God has to be on the forefront. He has to be on the forefront. I'm so happy that I was able to get on here and talk about goal setting with you all. You all look amazing. You're so beautiful. I'm just proud of you all because you could be anywhere right now, but you're right here. And this is exactly where you need to be. So I pray that you all were able to learn something about goal setting. If you were, say I have, and I will type in my Instagram name so that y'all can follow me. And, and if you have questions, um, if you need motivation or anything, feel free to hit me up in my DM because this is not just the one day show. We're here for you all. This is like Miss Crystal said, this is what I do with girls and you all are the girls that I do it for. So if y'all have any questions, I want y'all to feel free to ask right now. I think I have a few minutes to answer questions, right Crystal? Or am I over time? Um, I can take a few minutes, like uh, okay, probably about three minutes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, if you have Very questions, nice. hold on, I'm trying to bring up the chat. Mm -hmm. Um, if you have, I'm trying to bring up the chat. I type the scripture in the chat. Uh, if you have questions, just type in um the chat question or raise your hand and let me unmute you so you can ask questions. As a as a as a matter of fact, if you have questions for any of us, so we'll do the question and answer for the both of us. So if you have a question okay. for... She um, wants to know where I got my shirt. I got my shirt from a lady named Crystal Tally or Crystal McDonald, and she is on Instagram. And I will put her Instagram in here. If you have any other questions, 
Um, you can raise your hand and I um, All right, hold on. For some reason, I'm not seeing. If you, Auntie Crystal, what about the question you said you were going to answer for me? Yeah. So remind me of the question. Remind me of the question. Oh, wow. That's a good question. Um, even though you have acquired a new mindset through Christ, how do you deal with mental health? That was a very good question. That's very brave of you to ask that. Um, mental health is something that we definitely can't deal with by ourselves. And it has nothing to do with how old you are. Um, whether you're a girl, a woman, a young lady, we all need help in form of a licensed therapist or counselor or a trusted adult that can get you those services. So if you are dealing with mental health issues, talk to somebody, let an adult know that you can trust your parent. If you don't have parents, maybe your pastor. If you don't have your pastor, maybe a mentor or maybe a, um, a family friend that you can talk to and that way they can get you the help that you need. Don't ever feel like you have to go through anything alone because you don't have to. Yeah, and I agree. Um, I do agree with everything that Auntie says. That one of the things that we, I got counseling, right? Um, one of the things we, um, like we feel like counseling is bad, but I guess because I love to chat, I want to go sit in our counselor's office and talk. And sometimes mm. talking is just so, so helpful. So understand that, yeah, okay, I'm a Christian. I believe in the Holy Spirit. I believe that God can heal us. But then we, he also says that he has blessed us with, um, you know, I'm the hand, you're the foot, you're the kidney. So we all have different gifts. So we, because we have different gifts, other persons are able to help us better. You understand? Yes. Not that, and also remember that God uses people. So God didn't need um crystal anti crystal or akiski akisi um to 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 motivate you today but he decided to use us anyway you understand that's that's what um what somebody asked a question earlier please type back the question again um what time exactly session starts in jamaican time four o'clock so we start at four finish for five thirty so that's why i'm we want to finish on time um, I saw a question about journaling. Um, I also, Auntie mentioned about the power of journaling. Personally, there is power in, in writing down. And I, one of the things with writing, you find that you tend to, to, to want to go back and reflect. And also when you write, for example, prayers and go back to read and see these prayer requests happens, you're like, okay, wow. You know, you didn't even realize. So, uh, we want to start to encourage, you know, the power of journaling to, to journal yes. your dreams, journal your prayers, journal your fears, you know, and this is why they, I sent out today, I sent out a 14 day journal prompt. And then once those 14 days, I have some other ones. So to, throughout, throughout the, the whole um, series of six weeks, we are going to be journaling every single day, at least five yeah. minutes per day. We're going to try to journal and just express ourselves. I want to, see um hold on my chat is freezing up for i'm not sure why um uh, mentor so later down in about week three we're going to introduce a mentorship program so you'll hear more about the mentorship program so we're gonna be in smaller groups so five so each each mentor will get five of you to mentor so you're gonna learn more about that um at the in week three Right. Um, what are the hashtags for the introduction? Um, the hashtag is live in a royal reality and teen global summit. So somebody can type that for me in the chat. Um, for Trinidadians, it starts at 5 p.m. Um, for the Nigerians and African persons, I'm not quite sure <laughs> what your time zone is. So you can check that out um, for me. Um, I'm trying to see the chat, but for some reason, my chat is frozen. Uh, my question, why would my parents stop me from talking to someone who encourages me? So I think somebody had tried to answer that question earlier. Um, sometimes, I mean, 
sometimes parents and not just parents, older persons mm-hmm. are able to see things that we can't see. So probably that person is seemingly encouraging you no. And if they really are, then why they probably should have a, a conversation with their parents too. Um, Auntie, Auntie, you want to help me with that question too? Why would my parents stop me from talking to somebody that's encouraging me? Oh, absolutely. Now, sometimes um, what we see as encouraging is not the best form of encouragement that we need, and we can't understand that. So whether we agree or not, our parents have the final say-so. So even though we don't understand it or we don't like it, it's best to just abide by it. And, you know, write your parent a letter and, and ask, you know, why, why was I cut off from this person? And just tell them that you don't mean to be disrespectful, but you just want to understand. You know, tell them how maybe this person was encouraging you. And maybe that way they will be able to see it from your point of view. And you never know, they might allow you to start communicating with this person again. So it's always good to try to communicate with your parents instead of, you know, holding inside, being mad at them for something, because that allows you to get an understanding of why they made the choice they made. Yeah, I love that. And, uh, you know, as she mentioned that something came to me because some of you are struggling with talking to your parents. I, mm-hmm. the, the idea of writing a letter to them is actually a very good way that you guys can yeah. try. Write them a letter. Um, you know, just to kind of, again, just let it be clear. You're not trying to be disrespectful. You're just not quite sure. And sometimes, um, sometimes we struggle with talking out our feelings. So, right. um, and they too <laughs> struggle with talking out, you know, expressing themselves because, um, parents are, t- are, are, are humans too, and they're struggling just like yes. you. Right. Yes. So try that approach of writing a letter to your parents. Um, and and see how that goes right and uh, we have five minutes i am not sure if more questions are coming in because my thing auntie see if you will see any more questions because my, my my chat is freezing I don't, so i see a question or actually this is a comment and it says sometimes it's because your parents have been through it all before that's true they have and and parents can see further along the road than we can um Someone said, I used to write letters to my mom all the time when I was afraid to confront her. You know what? That's one of the best forms of, of co- communication because you're able to get out everything that you want to say without feeling like, I can't say this, I can't say that. But you're able to pour your heart out in that letter. Um, one thing that you want to make sure that you do is read the letter before you give it to them. Because this way you can say, mm, I need to change the way I said that because that sounds like I, I might have an attitude. So read it before you give it to them and write it over if you need to. All right. Somebody says, what about your parents when their parents are not supportive? Hon- honestly, I've met a lot of teens that their parents are not supportive. And one of the things I find is that sometimes parents are just burdened with life. They're trying to find money to take care of, you know, the children. They're probably they're stressed at work. They're stressed at, um, you know, they're having their own stress. And because of that, they sometimes don't realize that it's influencing teens. So what I would say is see if you can find a mentor, somebody that you can talk to. Um, Mm -hmm. you know, preferably somebody godly, (laughs) right? Um, preferably a female too. Um, instead of, yeah. So some person said their parents are definitely not supportive. And I I believe you, I really do believe you because I've met a lot of teens that their parents aren't supportive. And this is why I say find a Mm -hmm. mentor. Um, if you really need a mentor, just message, send me an email too. And I have mentors that we definitely could assign you to. I prefer if you men- be mentored by a female than a male, right? Yes. Is. I really yes. prefer that. Um, yeah, for many reasons <laughs> than one. Um, also, remember with the support, remember we say that we, while our parents, our parents are great people and all, they are humans. So you have to find that self-motivation to keep going at your goals, keep going at what. And sometimes you find that, um, you know, sometimes you can find 
um, that after like when they get older, you find that, oh my God, my parents was, my parent was going through this or going through that. And you kind of empathize with them more, right? Because you don't really know. And sometimes they can't tell you. So, you know, sometimes try to give them a little slack, you know, sometimes. Um, but again, it's about you, you know, setting your own goals, um, becoming motivated to please God, to, to, to make yourself proud. And then believe me, in the long run, they also will be proud. Also, another thing I must say that, you know, remember some parents, um, how do you deal with parents who are lazy to cook and hardly eat nutritious food? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, oh, that kill me. But no, no. <laughs> learn to cook. That's the answer. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are supposed to learn to cook. Right. Right? So if your parents don't want to cook healthy food, it's a mm -hmm. great time for you to learn to cook. Woo, 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 woo. Right? Someone asks, does it make sense to work towards a goal? You're having a um, hard time believing will manifest. My answer, yes, ma'am. Those. Okay. All right. Great. Yes, learn to cook, learn to cook and cook dinner for your, your parents. <laughs> right? Don't burn the house down. Yes. Yeah, you guys are over 13. You won't burn the house down. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> all right, so um, we're going to log off in, um, in all of this hype. Remember, remember to make your post. Um, do your hashtags on Instagram so I can follow you. I can, um, you know, send the homework. Somebody says send the homework in the email. Trana, 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 please. Um, and Jade, um, please send me that link for the WhatsApp group. I, listen, I, I'm, I, I am not very good at WhatsApp groups. So please, if you're going to do a WhatsApp group, one, there's no, prof no profanity, no sex talk, no pornography conversations, right? We're all, we are only being encouraging. We're praying yes. for each other, right? I'm, I'm making the rules or I will shut that WhatsApp group down. Let me make Man. that very clear. <laughs> right? Um, so, yeah. So, um, Auntie, do you want to... I'm going to close us out, guys. We, we have to finish on time. And uh, we will definitely resume next week. I don't remember what the topics are for next week, but the aunties that are speaking next week, yes, yes, yes. Now, and you will enjoy each week. Um, Trana, please remember the homework and send it to me by WhatsApp so I can send it out to the email list um, today. And I want to thank everyone for joining. Uh, we had over 120 persons in and out coming in. And I know that we're recording this, so I'm going to send out a recording. Um, I'm going to try to send out a, a, a copy of the recording because I know we have 400 persons registered. So I mean, some persons probably didn't have, so, um, you know, didn't get to come on. So we want to share it for them. So I'm going to ask auntie to just pray and close us out, but I love okay. you girls. See, I'm giving you a big hug, like hug yourself, like your hug auntie crystal, please. <laughs> right. How Imani, I don't see a hug in yourself. Imani, I'm going to ask you. Thank you, Imani. I see you. Yes, thank you. That's me giving you a big hug. <laughs> right? I um, do have, go ahead. I have one request. Yeah. Are we able to take a group selfie? I want to take oh. a group selfie with my phone. Oh, oh, we do, oh, we do do that. How oh, do we do that? If y'all just smile, I'm going to take the picture with my phone. Everybody ready? So I'm going to have to take five because we have five screens. So this is the first one. One, two, three. Oh, you look so beautiful. All right. Here's the second one. One, two, three. All right. And the third one. One, two, three. Watch, watch one, Rihanna, fair smile, big door. All right, we got it. So I do want to say that I love all of you girls. I'm so excited for your next couple of weeks at this conference. Um, continue growing, continue being the amazing girls that you are. And at this time, I, I would like to just pray. Um, yes, Father, please. I, I thank you for creating your girls, Lord. I thank you for blessing them. 
with the heart that they have and the assignments that you've placed in the Lord. And I thank you for Crystal for creating this wonderful platform for our girls to be connected and growing and learning all of the tools that are going to be very beneficial along their growth journey, Lord. And I ask that you just put it on every girl's heart to connect with one another and go out there in the world and share with other girls what they've learned tonight and what they will continue learning, Lord. And it's in your son, Jesus' name, that I pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Bye, ladies. Love Bye. you. Bye.